Cheers, everyone, and welcome to Cocktail Hour Cinema. My name is Brent. I am Nico. And I'm Emily. And we're a weekly video podcast that talks about movies, TV shows, whatever the fuck we feel like. Oh. And today, we're talking about the Muppets. Ah. Every week, Emily makes this themed off. <laughs> <laughs> Cocktail hour cinema, talking drinks and cinema. We watch and eat some dinner, uh, but we don't show you the dinner. Uh, it's cocktail hour cinema. Cheers, everybody! Welcome to cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> you idiot! Cheers, everyone, and welcome to cocktail hour cinema. My name is Brent. I'm Nico. And I'm Emily. And we are a <laughs> video podcast that talks about movies, TV shows, the Muppets, whatever we feel like. <laughs> and every week, Emily makes us a drink that pairs nicely with whatever we're talking about, which today <laughs> is the Muppets Haunted Mansion. Emily, what'd you make for us? So I can't maintain my Muppet voice at all. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is my regular voice. <laughs> <laughs> Saying my name in the Kermit voice is weird. Um, so Order, Emily. <laughs> tonight, like Swedish chef almost. Yeah. This, <laughs> tonight, in honor of Hoppets, Hoppets, Hoppets Haunted Mansion, <laughs> Muppets Haunted Mansion. <laughs> nice, Emily. Um, we, I made the uh, foolish. Compose Muppet. yourself. <laughs> the foolish Muppet. Ah. Oh. So it's uh, it's green in honor of Kermit. It's it a little bit it's got some spooky ingredients in it. Um, I'm going to be reading the uh, ingredients that I wrote down backwards because that's how I poured them in. Okay. So this one uh, is a little bit more complicated than other cocktails Ooh. that I've made in the past. So this awesome. one involves a different kind of shaking method. So tastes complicated. Watch, watch. I'll tell you how to do it. You're gonna add a half ounce of egg white, which is about a half of an egg. You're going to do uh, three quarters of an ounce of pistachio syrup. The uh, recipe for that will be in the bottom description. Half an ounce of green chartreuse, one of my favorite ingredients of all time, one of Brent's favorite ingredients. Probably soon to be one of Nico's favorite ingredients. Maybe. And then you do an ounce of lime juice and an ounce of absinthe. So here's where you need to focus in on me. You're going to dry shake this. You're not going to add any ice to your shaker first. You're going to shake it really, really hard for seven seconds. Really hard. Really, really hard. And then you're going to get an arm workout with this with this uh, ingredient for this cocktail. Excuse me. God, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> then after you've dry shaken it, you're going to add ice. You're going to shake it again for another seven seconds. Then stay with me here. You're going to strain it into one half of the shaker. You're going to dump your ice and you're going to dry shake again for another seven seconds. That's how you get this really lovely foamy uh, topper on it. You're going to strain it into a coop. I know, cup. I know. <laughs> coop or cup. Not not doing that today. Um, and so with this one, I <laughs> added a little bit of green uh, food coloring to my pistachio syrup because when I tried it last night, it turned this really hideous sludgy beige color so to keep it with the the halloween theme make it like nice and attractive add just a tiny bit of green food coloring and it'll be lovely like this so what do you guys think i think emily you've completely outdone yourself with this one i i it really is complex even in its taste you know what emily we we tend to throw at you a bunch of different movies and different things. Well, we're not throwing it to you. That's just the topic we have to do. Yeah. And you have to come up with a creative cocktail every single week. And God bless her. <laughs> she outdoes herself like she, every single She does a really week. good job every single time. And it's it's <laughs> impressive. I actually thought when we started the show, is there enough cocktails to, to do a lot of these? She's oh, like, dude, there's an in, the infinite amount. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Well, you know, this just goes to show you that there's a Kermit drink. Tastes like yeah. Kermit was blended up in a blender. Yeah. This tastes one, exactly like uh, I... It's delicious. We'll, we'll maybe put a, uh, a picture of the uh, recipe book that I got this from. It's called The Bar Chef. I don't know. I have Spots it behind me. the show. I'll, I'll find it. Um, Swedish bar. But yeah, I, I was really excited. I wanted to find something with green chartreuse because it's just such a lovely cocktail. And it's kind of Halloween-y because it's really herbaceous. Tastes mm. kind of witchy. Mm. Um and this one has absinthe in it. Absinthe is the primary liquor in it. And I f- like that's a little hard to find uh, a cocktail that like absinthe is the main ingredient because a lot of times it's like the supporting character. Because it's in such a, cocktail. a strong flavor. Yeah, but but this one like because you combine like lime juice and chartreuse, like there's enough. There's it it holds up the absinthe really nicely without the absinthe overpowering everything. And the egg so. whites are such a nice touch. It's so frothy. Yeah, and I learned this like double shake technique from this book 
normally it's like, oh, put, put the egg white in and just like shake it until your arm absolutely hurts and then add ice. This double shake method is way easier on the biceps than, mm. than the traditional method I was taught. So uh, I'm really excited about how this one it's turned really, out. really, really good. This one's going to be hard for our viewers to reconstruct. But if you... You got this. You it's, got it. It's 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 all... Oh, God, too easy. Or give just, it the old college try. <laughs> scooch. Scooch Tui a little Scooch bit. You're going to keep slapping him in the face. I don't want, I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. <laughs> he might not make it to the next episode. <laughs> <laughs> he might but retire. he's green. He's green, which is in yeah. theme with what we're doing. And spooky. We added more skeletons. He kind of looks like a Muppet, too. Oh, he very bit. much does. Bit, yeah. there, was so, a, there was a plant Muppet there was. in this movie. That was kind of a nod to the yeah. Halloween... Yes, the, the big reef. Uh, the, the reef, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, Muppet Haunted Mansion, do one of you guys want to take the premise? I'll take it. So, uh, Gonzo, if you are familiar with the Muppets, you know Gonzo is the great Gonzo. He does... He's always trying to impress someone with his... His daring acts. Daring derelict. <laughs> <laughs> he loves magic and everything. So, the concept of this... Uh, it's a movie. It's only an hour, but it's, it's like a little tiny baby movie mm. on Disney+. Plus. Um, it's Halloween night, and he is going to the Haunted Mansion for like a, a Halloween challenge that if he can stay alive in the mansion all night, it's something like the 100th anniversary of the disappearance of his favorite magician, mm -hmm. the, the great MacGuffin, right. of course, and, and Red Herring, which yep. is my f <laughs> the first... My One of the best characters. We best need character we need more show. red herring, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he was great. Um, so yeah, he's he's missing out on his friends on Kermit's Halloween party. So he's missing mm -hmm. all of his friends, but he's really excited to like do something daring and you know uh, with his good old pal uh, Pepe, Pepe. The Pepe, King Prawn. <laughs> I loved. Okay the 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 duo of them two in this movie right because you could yeah. have gone a bunch of different kind of muppet it was unexpected but for sure if i can't I have it. if i can't have rizzo i will definitely take pepe yes pepe is a really good rizzo substitute yeah. i missed having i missed having a little bit more piggy and kermy in there but yeah they're definitely like side characters in this they're, I mean, ca they're cameos everyone yeah. is cameos yeah. essentially except mm -hmm. for those two which yeah it, have they ever done a movie like that not that I can. I don't remember any of. Muppet movie that wasn't like, I mean, all the older ones were very Kermit mm -hmm. focused, but yeah, I can't yeah, think of I'm any like that are Muppet. The ones that I'm normally. Characters. I feel like if you were gonna write this movie, you would have Kermit and Piggy go into a party, and then everyone else is a. Uh... I like that they mixed it up. I like that it was Gonzo and, and everybody Pepe. loves Gonzo. And Pepe is the hero of the fucking movie, in yeah. my opinion. I love he's him, dude. He's hilarious. <laughs> it's definitely the most lines Pepe's ever had in a special. Oh yeah, yeah, I think so. Uh, but the heart of the movie is Gonzo, right? Yeah, he drives the heart very much so. And then uh, Pepe drives the plot. In yeah, a and way. the humor, a lot of and the, the humor. humor yeah. This okay. So <laughs> okay, <laughs> I love him. Uh. In our, our lost episode where I talked about Jungle Cruise, I mentioned that I'm a huge Disney Parks fan. Nico is as well. Brent, you are as well. Mm -hmm. um, this... Avenge the Fallen. Is, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out gratuitous Disney memes. Yep. Uh, I also have that shirt. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. um, this is just the phrase that really stuck in my mind today. I saw someone tweet it earlier and it was just like, yep, that's exactly what this is. This special is chocolate and peanut butter it's two things muppets and disney parks that i fucking mm. love and when they're combined it is absolute magic a dynamic duo <laughs> a duo that you weren't really expecting or that mm. you wanted but once they put them together it made a lot of sense yeah these I, two franchises i guess these two like ips yeah work so well together and they it was, really, it was great. I was worried that like one would maybe get watered down by the other or they would like kind of water a little bit down. It was like, oh no, they went like deep Muppets, mm -hmm. lots of like really obscure Muppets and like mm -hmm. great Muppet humor. Right. That specific genre if of you're humor. A Muppet, if you're a Muppet fan, it went really deep into they the stuck, Muppet. Yeah, they yeah. stuck yeah. right to like what they've always done. It didn't, they didn't break the mold of like what the humor aspect was, is like in like any of their yeah. specials. Right. And if you're a Haunted Mansion fan, oh, if you love the ride. Treats galore. Yeah. Treats galore. Cameos of people that are like deeply rooted in the ride. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all the dialogue is like mm -hmm. taken straight mm -hmm. from the ride and straight from the spiel at the beginning of the ride. Like it's oh, just it's pretty great. It was, it was like made it, specifically for me. It's it was funny because so nice. like <laughs> if someone were, so if, if someone were to pitch this idea, I think it could come across as kitschy really easily. Like 
but the Muppets are kitschy as fuck. Yeah. I was so like, it's it works. Purposely like kitschy. they lean into breaking the fourth wall right. about their kitschiness. Right. So they could literally pull exact moments from the ride. Mm-hmm. And instead of it being kitschy, it's actually like perfect for the Muppets humor. Right. Okay. So if you were going to do a haunted mansion movie, right? They did one with Eddie Murphy, mm-hmm. as you can see. 2003. 2003. Scores are terrible. Really bad movie. It also came out the same year Pirates of the Caribbean did. The same exact the year? same year. Oh, that's yeah. pretty crazy, actually. Because <laughs> one was incredible. And one is bad. One is real bad. <laughs> Very bad. But, um, yeah, like, you can only take it one way. I guess Guillermo del-, del Toro had an idea for the Haunted Mansion movie. R.I.P. Guillermo del Toro's Haunted Mansion yes. concept. Yeah. It was he, too- he's a huge fan of this ride. He actually has the wallpaper in his house really? from the ride from it's the not ride. just a recreation of the wallpaper he got his hands on the actual wallpaper yeah of course he and did. it's in yeah. his house yeah which is pretty dope so he had like a i guess a, a great concept about the hatbox ghost right um and then when that fell apart he suspiciously made a a haunted house movie right after that crimson peak crimson peak which felt like a haunted mansion movie that was just so. reskinned into something else. <laughs> so um from what I I've didn't heard, like the movie that much, but <laughs> no. I liked it. From what I heard, uh his concept for the Haunted Mansion movie, they were like, this is really good. It's too scary for a Disney movie. Yeah. They were like, Guillermo, you did a little, a little too much, a little yeah. too much. But <laughs> speaking of it being like a family film, I like how every single Muppet special, like I don't know if this is Right. I don't know if this is every single one. I haven't done the research, but it feels like everyone I've ever seen has a moment where someone says something in like a muffled Muppet speak or language. And someone goes, whoa, this is a family film. That's, like, <laughs> That's very Muppet, <laughs> not, like on brand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on brand it's with like every, every yeah, yeah. single one. <laughs> yeah. Well, Muppets are like for the parents and for the kids. Yeah. Right. Because yeah. like all the cameos in this movie were from like 90s TV shows. Right. You have John Stamos. You have the guy from Fresh Prince mm-hmm. who has yep. one fucking one line. One line. Yeah. <laughs> I tried to write down all the cameos and I got like quite a few of them and there were some where I was like, ah, too fast. Go back. Go back. Go back. Mm-hmm. Uh, Yvette Nicole Brown is the first one that you see. And I just, I and just And we adore met her, her at Disneyland. Yeah. Very close to the Haunted Mansion ride. It was near Splash Mountain. It was It was close to the exit of the Haunted Mansion ride, which is right next <laughs> to Splash was, Mountain. It was literally the exit of Splash Mountain. We were which is, Splash Mountain. Yeah, it was pretty close to, I mean, you would say you could throw a rock and you hit the Haunted Mansion's exit. I could throw a rock. Maybe not. I used Emily. to be an outfield. I used to be an outfielder, so I could throw a rock that far. I think. Okay. Well, <laughs> you're an outfielder because they, you know, you, because I was you bad. Could, you, and could they put, be, you could be shortstop. Yeah. No. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when you're 12 and yeah. you're playing. They don't put uh, you out there because you have a great arm. No. Okay. <laughs> they do it because like the kids can't hit that far out yeah. into the field. Yeah. <laughs> I'm bad at sports. That's you the joke. Go right. to the back of the field. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Where else can we put this girl? Shit. I didn't realize this was going to be a musical, and I was. Truly delighted by the, that. They're the always Mansion, musicals. The Haunted Mansion, the ride is basically kind of a musical. Totally. Isn't every Muppet movie a musical? Is there one that's uh, not? I don't. I guess you're right. They're all musicals. Yeah. Are they all now musicals? That I think yeah, they always yeah. break into song. I'm like, uh, and like the the old like Muppet Show was there was like five or six musical I numbers. Right. I guess I shouldn't have been surprised, weird. but I was delighted. By yeah, it. I, I was actually it. surprised that this was a musical, but I guess I shouldn't have been because, yeah. Every Muppet Christmas is Carol, Christmas Carol, Treasure, yeah. Island, Treasure Island, like, the show. and then the new, the new Muppet movie with uh, Jason Siegel. I like that However, one. Muppet, oh, that was good. I like that one Muppet a lot. Muppet Babies, the show, was not a musical. Muppet cool. Babies. It's not a dream come true. <laughs> Muppet babies. <laughs> that has like a grease sound to it, actually. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Yeah, 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 a little bit. Mind what I'm doing with the pop. Oh, Juan Stasmos. <laughs> Juan, Juan Stasmos. I need to find oh a celebrity God. room. <laughs> I also want to point out that this was specifically the uh, Disney World Haunted Mansion and not the Disneyland Haunted Mansion. <laughs> she pointed that as we were watching it. Was, oh, it's the Disney World? Oh, my God. <laughs> I was like, like, Emily. It's completely here. different architecture. Uh, <laughs> I mean. <laughs> no, I, it's amazing. I know. No, amazing. Look, look, <laughs> I, I love Disneyland. I've been there a million times. However, D- Emily, you're a whole different level of Disney fan because you're like, oh, that's the Disney World Haunted Mansion design i'm like, like a normal dude, person i'm a huge disney nerd never, fan, but you never. guys each step me up right i'm like, a step up from you and she's a she's huge a step up from me. like yeah. i am a disney fan 
but my Disney Parks fandom is like the tip, the yeah, tip right, of the, right, right, right. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. the top of the Christmas tree for yeah. me. Uh, <laughs> Her favorite podcast is Podcast the Ride, which is about- a theme park <laughs> centric Podcast. Best. Shout out Podcast the Ride. Please Shout put out. me. Please let me be on your show. She would be. Please, she would please, be fucking please. great on your show. If, if, I if, have, if she was at Disneyland and saw the Podcast the Ride fellows, I would scrim, walking around. Scrim. It, it's scrum. like she she would have seen like Tom Cruise and Brad Pitt. Oh, oh Jesus! Yeah, it'd be the same same exact <laughs> same reaction. Level. Same yeah. exact level. I Crazy. have. A, please, I, all I want is to show them my tattoo of Captain Rex from Star Tours. <laughs> so they would understand. They would get it. You have to uh, You have to take a high picture resolution of that and then so I can put it as a graphic. Okay, I can do that. Right here. Right, just here. Just here, right here. Mm. So one thing I love about all Muppet movies and this one is very much so up there with this. They break the fourth wall all the fucking time. Like Muppet yes. movies mm. and Muppet shows never take themselves seriously at all. At all. They break the fourth wall. I think this one did it like four or five times. Um, I love how Piggy is always pissed off that her role is not big enough. And then this one, (laughs) it's super small. So her one moment in it, it's like half of her lines are her bitching about the fact that she doesn't have a bigger role. (laughs) It's like, it's great. I love it. Yeah. I love the fact she wants to be a movie star and and all this stuff. And she's like uh, the the sidest of characters. This is like the only part I get in this movie. Yeah. (laughs) So on that note, uh, the cameo that happened, like the woman who came in and like polished the the crystal yes. ball, who was that? That I w- I went like ah! I, re- I recognized her. That's Kim Irvine. Mm-hmm. She her is mother. An, she is an Imagineer. Her mom, Leota Toombs, is Madame Leota, yeah. the original oh. Madame Leota. And the original Madame Leota was one of the original Imagineers that worked on the ride, basically. Oh. And her name her name was Leota Toombs. Oh. Like how how could how more perfect could you yeah. get as her a last character? Name is Toombs, and she played <laughs> yeah, and she's a ghost. But yeah, but in the when they redid that scene uh, in the haunted mansion, like maybe like five ten years ago or something. Uh, they had to re-record new um, audio for that, and she is she's not the face of Leota right now, but she is the voice of Leota. Mm. So she like took over her mom's role, and it's very, exciting. It's very very cute. Shout out Serendipous. to Kim Irvine; she's fucking rad. Yeah, <laughs> I love that shit. Yeah, that was really great. Um, like the indoor lightning again. Yeah. yeah, again breaking the fourth wall, like right yeah. back to back. Oh, indoor with lightning. Like, That's cool. So, like, it, it, it references <laughs> things and quirks about the ride right inside mm-hmm. the movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, dude. Really well, done. they pretty much walk you through the ride. Yeah, they do through the movie. Yeah, They're just yeah. like yeah, step by step. They Every walk part the stretching, of the ride, the stretching yeah. room, yeah. the hallway Every with the changing the portraits. Yeah. yeah. Um, Although the crows were missing, I was expecting oh, yeah, the, more crows in this than. Uh, there were some really fucking great Muppet ghosts, though. Those were cute right. as oh, hell. Oh yeah, those were the cute as were really hell. Cute. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. What was the first thing that that Muppet ghost said? Do you I remember? I don't we remember. We laughed hella hard at it. I, don't I can't remember. No, Damn it! No, right, wrote a notey. The only, the only like quote I have written down is "I'm new." <laughs> the, the one little skeleton oh, who yeah. could get the wrong like oh, yeah. dun 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 dun. dun, dun. dun. <laughs> <laughs> Too many dun dun. It's, it's, it's not, it's not that many dun dun. <laughs> oh yeah, really He's, British. They're yeah, British. Yeah. One was British and like one was like Australian. Yeah. <laughs> He's new. I'm new. <laughs> I'm new. I'm new. He's new. I'm new. <laughs> Dude, Muppy humor is hilarious. Too. Statler and cool. Waldorf are in this, and they're in the Doom buggy. They're in the buggy. Oh. In the ride yeah. buggy so brilliant just God. this is gonna be your worst podcast episode ever <laughs> <laughs> boo oh i love that like it's oh why are you booing he's like <laughs> we're ghosts booing comes with the territory speaking of that those are my favorite muppets they're pretty great bless you yes <laughs> producer ryan sees a really fucking loud i hope probably didn't catch in, in mic it's fine uh what are your favorite muppets mine are them you love stuff oh. it's very on brand it is rizzo rizzo the rat is my favorite rizzo's Muppet. pretty great uh absent I love from this movie Chef. i love swedish oh swedish chef. chef's great oh, yeah, good. i don't know what you do <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of ways like it's like almost says the word and then it's just mm. pure fucking gibberish at the end <laughs> yeah it's like it's hard to do that like That's doing my an dad's impression favorite swedish chef is, mm. is <laughs> difficult <laughs> it's like such pointed gibberish that it's hard to replicate mm. Kind of like Kyle Mooney when he would right. do those 
those sketches like when you would like interview people outside of giant stadiums and yeah. he's kind of talking gibberish but kind of being real yeah just enough for you to kind of follow him but not yeah. enough it's for you skill. to really know what the fuck he's talking <laughs> yeah, about yeah yeah it's hard to do that it's, it's, it's a level a of improvisation line that's that hard. you have to really fucking yeah, ride. You gotta find the sweet spot yeah Who's your favorite muppet, producer bro? ryan's favorite muppet is kermit by the way i think mine is probably swedish the chef or swedish chef it makes yeah. makes me laugh chef. swedish the chef <laughs> <laughs> he makes me laugh the hardest uh I do love Fozzie's puns. Yeah. And the way he's pretty good. I can't do it now. I got to hear it before uh, I can do it. Oh, dude. I, have, I had Fozzie. Ah! <laughs> ah! Waka, waka, waka. <laughs> I'm going to tell you a joke. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Joke. You he go. always pronounces everything. Mm-hmm. And it goes, up. Ah. Ah. <laughs> it always goes, up. <laughs> Are you going to talk about me? Mwah. Mwah. Oh, there you go. Perfect. <laughs> Hi-ya. I just did that because Nico didn't want me to Brian do was it. practicing all like, of his Muppet impressions mic, earlier. Dude, I got it's like gonna... five or six in my pocket, I think, oh, if I uh, dig them up a little bit. <laughs> hey, right, box office. Uh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got some Muppets. I got some Muppets in my pocket. Okay, you, stop you gotta stop that stop. right That's now. <laughs> you you gotta stop. You, you know, gotta. I I thought this was gonna be like a full length movie, but it was under an hour. I feel like yeah, it was minutes, just like yeah. right under an hour. Okay, because I kind of wanted to see it in the Dolby Theater. I want but, more. Uh, it's fine. Yeah, I I, I mean, it could have been longer. I would have been okay with it being. It longer. It could have been longer. Yeah. When I say I want more, I mean I want them to do this for every Disneyland ride. <laughs> <laughs> M- Muppets, want- Thunder Mountain yes. would be fucking yeah. great. Would be yeah. fucking great. I bet they could do a Rizzo, fun one for Rizzo Space Mountain Rizzo in a boy, tiny cowboy hat. Yeah. Tiny cowboy hat on Rizzo. Fucking Muppets. Space Mountain. Mr. Toad's Space Mountain, you could do pretty much Muppets, whatever you Mr. want. Mr. Toad, yeah. Well, right, yeah. Fuck it. Muppet teacups. Anything. <laughs> Muppet teacups. <laughs> anything. They're all just throwing up the entire show. Yeah. Muppet Disneyland Railroad. Yeah. You just yes. hang out in the, the dinosaur diorama. <laughs> I was going to say, they go back in time. It's like it's like yeah. a train that goes back in time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Muppet no. Cars. Yeah. R- the ride. Muppet Cars ride. Not Muppet Autopia. We don't like Autopia on this podcast. Not no, not in my no, house. We don't. Diesel ass motherfuckers. Fuck Switch Autopia. to electric right now. <laughs> Tomorrowland has diesel fucking it's sponsored diesel by over. Chevron. Actually, I don't know if Ugh. it's sponsored by Chevron anymore. I think it's like GM. Ugh, still, Autopia. still, Autopia is it's so dated. Podcast it's the ride. I, have me on an episode where you talk about Autopia if yeah, you haven't boom. already, because I'll Let's just talk it. shit about it the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> I think my only other note to like the the Muppets humor that I love is that. And all, pretty much every Muppet does it because they're all they're all like performing. That's part of the Muppets is even in the movie, they're still performers the, that yeah. are performing for you. And I love how they always laugh at their own jokes to cue you that the joke is over and it's time to laugh now. Mm. Like the way that the hecklers always go like, oh, 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 oh. they all oh. kind of do that. If you watch, there's different moments where every Muppet has a, a moment like Pepe does it. Gonzo does it all the fucking time. So it's like, ha, 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 at the end of his, it's like, <laughs> they just, they cue you in. Like, this is the time for you to laugh. Yeah, We're done with yeah. our little bit. Like, without a laugh track. Yeah. They're yeah. really good at, like, adding that in to, like, help the audience understand, you know. Get you know who joke. else does that all the fucking time? I, I feel bad because I'm blanking on his name. I actually love him. He's a YouTube creator. The dude who does, uh, oh, my God, he's been around forever. And he always goes, like, <laughs> at the end of all of his bits. He does songs. Jake Paul? And, no. God. Ew. Uh, <laughs> talk, talk amongst yourselves. Okay. Uh, I like that one time uh, in the movie, Pepe pronounces hors d'oeuvres as horse, horsey derves. That tickled yeah. me to no end. <laughs> horsey derves. Because I used to work in catering, and so we would always be like, horse d'oeuvres, because spelling the derves part is very mm. difficult, but horse, horsey derves just really yeah. hit me. That was, was good. That was just for me. That was pretty good. <laughs> Trey Kennedy was who I was thinking of. You know, no idea who that is. I don't Shout know out Trey Kennedy. Either. He's fucking hilarious. I'll show you guys him later. Right. Okay. He's got this like <laughs> thing that he does, and it's like... Well, here's a picture of him right here. Right I here. can't see him yet. He's like one I of the old school like YouTube creators. I might know him if I saw him. You, I maybe. guarantee you both of you will know him if you saw him, but Trey he's Kennedy. really fucking funny. Okay. He's he's really consistent. Trey area. Shout out to Raji like P. That? Henson for just like <laughs> absolutely giving her fucking all in her role in this movie mm-hmm. as Constance, the bride. Yes. Yeah, just... she, she killed it. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta have the bride as like yeah. the main antagonist. In this, yeah. In this Although she did great. roofie grape, Pepe roofie grape. Roofie she roofie grape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She With did. With the spiders. That was a that was some adult content that happened. Yes, it was. He Less. legitimately got roofie grapes with spiders, and then we've almost forced into a marriage. Yep. Yeah, we've all eaten we've roofie, all eaten grapes. roofie <laughs> grapes. Yeah, <laughs> and almost gotten married. Recre- recreationally, almost gotten yeah. married. <laughs> almost Obviously, gotten married, yeah. <laughs> to become dead. 
<laughs> to become dead? <laughs> to get dead? <laughs> to get Pepe dead. almost got dead. Spoilers. I think, I think you should get dead. <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. I'm sorry. Who was MacGuffin? What was that guy? Was that actor's name? Will Arnett. Uh, Will Arnett. Ew, what yeah. the fuck was that? Me crying at you telling me to get dead. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, are you gargling with the cocktail? Uh, I did, yeah. Gross. Yeah, Will yeah, Arnett. Will Arnett was great. Will Arnett, he was great. He's great in everything. He's the yeah. biggest guest star by far of the whole thing. He's like the main, the main. Yeah, guest he's star, the main guy. Yeah. Did but. he sing in this as well? Yes. Yes. During yeah. like the. Although his singing is kind of like talking for half of it, but he sang. He it's does fine. like a a dramatic voice, mm-hmm. so that's good enough. Yeah. Yeah. Right, fine. right, right. Yeah. I like him. Yeah. Lego he's, Masters, really good show. Yeah, watch his Lego voice Masters. Is awesome. Yeah. His voice he's, is uh, incredible. Yeah, 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 like yeah. he's such a good voice actor. He's just a good talent. Like he's hilarious. Yeah. He's a good host. He can he act commits. well. He commits to everything he yeah, does. Yeah, I think that's, that's what makes him really funny. Is like yeah. <laughs> he commits to every role he has. Even yeah, like the Lego show. Yeah, he commits. He's so good. <laughs> so silly. Being a host. Yeah. He just fucks around the whole time. I like <laughs> when he like is like evil Will and he's rolling around in the little wheelchair. Like mm. just yeah, he's so yeah, much he's, fun on that. He's a good boy. How many watermelon boats do you give oh. Muppet Haunted Mansion? Out of 21? No, out of 10. <laughs> out of 21? Five. Out of 21? <laughs> They're too pixelated out for 21? you, right? No, no. <laughs> Five watermelon boats. Let's, Let's do 10. 10. Let's 10. Do 10. 10's okay, good. We'll yeah, do, 10. We'll do 10. Wait. Before we get to the watermelon boats. Oh, oh my God. Are we not going to have a shit bit? What do we have a shot bet? I don't know. Does for? no one have a shot bet? No. I'm trying to think Is of this one. A first? There's no box office. Have we ever done an episode no, without a shot bet? There's no box office we, we know a lot about this <laughs> movie. This might have a, it might have a Rotten Tomato score. I do. I do. Oh, a Rotten Tomato score. It's got to have something. I'm sure it it's has gotta a Rotten ha- It does. It definitely has something. No Let's one's checked. No one's checked. No one's Credit score? No. Not at all. Time to bust out. Our there we go. Shit bit. White boy. This is this is because Nico doesn't want to do as many graphics for yeah, us. Yeah, this is to, to save time <laughs> in post production. <laughs> Budgets being cut, guys. I think it's more fun this way too. Let's be honest. It feels like we're in a game show. We upped our budget. This so costs at least this four dollars. The budget. I I spent money on this, right, guys? This is residual from season this is one. Like, it's like green screen for versus the show. building a real set. You're yeah. gonna build the We're real building set. the real set here. I mean, this is really practical, practical effects. In camera effects. Practical. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're doing we're going Kubrick here. In yeah. camera only. Okay, we're doing critic. We're doing critic score. We're doing critic percentage. score. The day that it comes out. Yes. For yeah. it's they sent sc- they sent screeners to And that's the thing. It doesn't matter about the day that comes out with critics. Critics are very objective about their uh opinions. So also if it ends well, up well, if it ends up not having a score on Rotten Tomatoes, we all have to take a shot. Critics scores like are, are subjective, but fans it. <laughs> Ryan Producer Ryan did not <laughs> like that at all. all right. I don't care what he likes. Yep it. Okay. I'd like to remind everybody oh, that ooh, last ooh, week producers participating. Oh, He's got his own whiteboard. I would like to remind everybody that last week I got the number exactly correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly Except it wasn't correct at the time of editing. So I know. Just, one I hate that. It was so annoying. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, I think Ryan wins the shot bet because that's actually correct. <laughs> yeah. He's 100% I mean, correct. He says spot on, you are all sure. bitches. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah, his whiteboard he says. Is spot on. Wow. You are all bitches. Sorry, you're all bitches. All right. Are we ready? Right. Ready to reveal? Yeah. Three, two, one, eighty-five percent. I'm going ninety-eight. I'm oh. going eighty-three. Because nobody doesn't like the Muppets. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll be right back with the answer. I couldn't do it making eye contact with you. <laughs> okay. What was All yours? Right. Eighty-five. It is 90%. So Nico is the closest. Shut bit. Master. I hate that. I I feel the need to sing along even though I shouldn't. (laughs) All right, Brent, what do you want a shot at? Boom, boom, Uh, boom. What are we doing? 85%, bitches. Let's go. He just gloats so much. Let's go. (laughs) He should be higher. He just gloats. Yeah, he's a Leo. I am a... Leo's in etri- retrograde right now, so we got to be careful. Wow, Leo's Leo in is in retrograde. <laughs> Go home. What's Go my take a What's nap. my rising? I was making fun of you. 
Of me? Yeah, I'm just making fun of that in general. Gonzo, anybody notice that Gonzo's voice used to be super gravelly? And it's way, I mean, maybe. Well, I mean, all their voices, because all their voices the, have changed a bunch because yeah. the voice actors. And I think it was because he was the died. Some died. Died. Some yeah. quit. He was also the straight fired. man in this movie. So I think if they yeah. would have made his voice hell of extreme, like a right. side character, it would have got annoying. Because right. this is by far the cleanest his voice has ever been in a special. This is the last of the butterscotch gold moonshine. So. Uh, this is, I mean. This last year's burn, we were drinking we it a like, lot of. Well, we also had the, the apple pie kind too, but we were drinking it like water. Because it, mm. yeah, it's really. Shout out to Moonshine. Moonshine. That went down way too easily. It's candy. Yeah, that's Literally liquid candy. candy. Should be put. Where's the oh, silco it's at? Oh, Man shot glass. Is it? Let me see. Zoom. Yeah, Zoom that, in. It's, <laughs> it's from like 2008. Uh, a neighbor in 2018 oh, yeah. gave that to Ryan and I. I, d- I didn't like this name, The American Dream at Burning yeah, Man. But I do like The Burning Man Man with the little fl- Statue of Liberty thing. Yeah, that's kind of nice. Yeah. yeah. Uh, final thoughts? Concerns? Watch this fucking movie. It's so yeah. great. Oh, uh, we didn't give our score, did we? Oh, yeah, we oh, did. Yeah. Watermelon Boats. Watermelon Boats. Let's go. 10 Let's out start. of 10 Watermelon Boats for me. Th- th- this is like it's th- this was designed for emily yeah this, this is exactly just put this on a platter for me and it nailed it thousand percent yes. 10 out of 10 i have a feeling i'm never gonna give anything 10 out of 10 because then it's like i'm not allowed to like anything some people rate that. things differently I-, I know like uh there's there's some critics that just don't give 10 out of 10s like a seven is i think a i'm really one of those score. people yeah not that i won't ever Give like a nine point. Well, like a ten five. out of ten is for like your top yeah. four movies of all I'm not time. Like that, I I'm I'm gonna give things like ten out of ten for different reasons. Mm. Like there will be movies where it's like oh, I didn't quite blah blah blah. This just like I really enjoyed it. Ten yeah, out of ten. I, I it's like whose line it. is that anyway? The point don't, points don't matter. I would points sit down matter. and points watch it immediately right now. That's ten out of ten for me. Mm, 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 mm. I'm gonna do eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Ooh, Wanted right. to be longer. Um, Fair. Yeah. You really hate if I do decibels, don't you? Mm, just do a clean score. Please. I really want to do decibels. Don't do the half. Point five. I was gonna do. I was gonna do seven point eight. Can you do seven point? Ew, just... not point eight. <laughs> Fuck Round you. Seven point seven five. Seven five. I think is like I think seven point seven five four three it, eight six two just seven. A seven. It's just gonna be a seven. No, I'm giving it a. Fuck. I'm giving it an eight too. Okay. We're gonna have it's the same up, score. Yeah. 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 So t- two eight ten and ten. Yeah. That's a pretty, pretty good. fucking high score. It's pretty good. My it's our highest score yeah. so far. By far. For sure. Yeah. For what? Muppets. Yeah. Haunted Mansion. Haunted yeah. Mansion. And next week, we'll be doing... Halloween Kills. I think that comes out. Yeah, Halloween Kills we're doing next week. Yeah. yeah. I'm so much less excited for that. Same. Yeah, or we could do James Bond, which came <laughs> out this week. <laughs> Equally as excited for James Bond. Okay, so we'll do Halloween Kills. Yeah, because that way I can scream loudly in the theater. And we can talk about it. How embarrassing it was for <laughs> Don't be else. that guy. Oh, I will be. Ugh. I will okay. be. All right. Go I think the Halloween Kills is, is going to go great with our October I already have themes. a cocktail. There we go. Oh, yeah. She's already That's the it. most important part. As long as we have the cocktail with the movie. It's a cocktail that could be made for multiple things, but I already have a cocktail in mind. Oh, so. shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, sh- oh, sh- oh, sh- Good job, uh, Emily. Continuing the spooky God. month. Yes. Uh, if you made it this far, thank you. Like and subscribe. Thank you so tell much. Tell your friends. Tell your friends. Help this little tiny pod grow some legs, and we appreciate you. Also, tell us uh, what you thought about the movie down in the comments below. Yeah. And there we we're, go. We're YouTubers now. Yeah. Tell, us what, you thought. tell us what you would like us to review in the comments below. Oh, if see, you... that's, that's better. Tell us what to review in the comments below. Or if you have any like, hey, I want a cocktail that's made with this kind of thing. Let me know. Ooh. I can like that's dude. We should do a competition Gin? where someone throws out the Whiskey? weirdest ingredient for us to use. Ooh, uh, yeah. We shit. can do a, a vote, like a poll. Yeah. All right. When we get to two hundred okay. subscribers on YouTube, yeah. When we get to two hundred, we'll do a poll of what weird fucking ingredient you want us to use in a cocktail. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Two hundred. Like yes. and subscribe. Tell your friends. Cheers. All right. Bye. Thanks. Bye, everybody. I love have you. A, have a good night, everyone. <laughs> Love you.